Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and feel at home. Please subscribe and click on the notifications bell so you may get a notification the next time I upload. If you're not new here and you're a returning subscriber, shout out to you and shout out to all of my subscribers, guys. We're almost at 6,000 subscribers. That is very big for me. And one of my videos is actually almost at 50,000 views. 50,000 views. Guys, I appreciate you guys so much and thank you so much. If you're not following me on Instagram already or on Twitter, please get into doing that. Today's video is very interesting because I'm sharing a part of my life that I have battled with for years. And this was inspired by Kelly Kumalo's show called Life with Kelly. It is available on Showmax. Do the most and don't ask me for my login details. You can simply click on the link in the description box and register on Showmax. You get 14 day free, um, a 14 day free trial so don't be asking me for no logging details because does it you will not be getting them but anyway the show is called life with kelly and she opens up about her entire life from family to work everything that you want to see every question you've had about kelly you will get it answered on this jam-packed show i love it so much and i've been watching it so far i've watched six episodes but i did see on my show Max account that more episodes will be loaded so that makes me very happy because i was already waiting on what like what is to come next because we've just seen so much of kelly's life so do check it out on show max if you don't have an account already create one and hop on this wagon because it's fun that's it it's fun it's fun it's fun okay guys let's get into the video saying there were some moments that i just felt like um were like moments that things that happened in my life for an example when she was telling her daughter that her father passed away um when she was very young um, she didn't necessarily put it like passed away she told her that her father went to heaven you know so i felt like um her communicating with with her daughter like that and her being open to talk to her daughter about it really really touched me because now i also lost my father at a very young age and i was probably a baby even um so i don't even remember like what he looked like in my childhood or what some of our memories were um as father and daughter but I just feel like it's so important for parents to communicate that with their kids because for most of my life I believe that my dad was still alive and I think my mother told me when I was in grade 7 grade 7 or grade 8 but I was very old by the time she told me so I feel like if she had told me as like if if if, if she had told me as I was growing up as a kid like I think telling your child things at a very young age is very important and you keep on telling them as they keep growing like communicating that same thing with them so that it registers in their head is very important for an example if parents want to affirm their children you always tell your kid that your child is beautiful at a very young age because you want them to grow up believing that why can't you do the same when it comes to um such things as well as losing parents so for the longest time i always believe that nah man my dad is probably alive my mom just doesn't want to tell me because maybe he's a horrible guy maybe because he they had a fight so she feels like she doesn't want to tell me um about him or she should she should say he's gone like he's not alive anymore to me first of all it was hard for me to even ask her that question because i felt like um it's it, it's like it's adult stuff i'm not supposed to know whereas that's my dad but that's how i felt as a kid because so many things were hidden to us as children so i feel like it's so important for parents to communicate with their kids i feel like it's so important um for um parents to be open about a lot of things especially sensitive things you know that are concerning family so i felt like what kelly did was definitely out of this world and her even being open to telling the, the child and to keep on communicating with her that her dad is an angel and that her dad was a superstar her dad was loved by everyone which is very true so um i i i when when i find out when i found out about my dad i didn't it, it took me long for me to be able to even ask my mom things about him like when is his birthday when did he pass away what happened because all i heard was that because i asked her where my dad is and she just said um he's gone and i was still confused like what do you mean like he's he's dead like what do you mean like what happened so i feel like had she sat down with me and laid down the story um things would have been much better and i feel like i would have i wouldn't have had questions because some of the questions i started asking her this year imagine and last year because only then I was comfortable um, or, and confident enough to talk to her about it so I feel like that communication channel is very very important and I mean I was very sad about the passing of my father um, simply because he 
he was stabbed so what happened was it was after work he was coming back from work and then he got mugged okay so this guy was trying to mug him but obviously my dad was very strong and he was a fighter he fought the guy off and the guy didn't get anything from him basically zangam tate like zangam hotel he didn't take um the the items that he was trying to mug him off so then i think a month later or a while later when he was coming back from work he met the same guy except now it was at night and the guy stabbed him to death i mean that's so cruel first of all and knowing that my father died because of such like it's such a it's, it's a stupid thing like it's it's a small thing you know and the guy obviously um was jailed and he passed away as well at some point um imagine i i found this information only this year um because only then i was open into talking about it and i felt i felt like i'm confident enough to ask questions and i felt like i am old enough to actually know these things you know so i then found out that i've got siblings from my father's side i mean i've always known cuz my mom would mention it here and there that he did have other kids but she doesn't know where they are or what happened you know that type of thing cuz the communication channel in between the family and her was just not there so when 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 i found out that i've got siblings i was very happy about that as well and i'm i got to know them only this year actually and i'm in contact with them i was speaking to my brother like the day before yesterday so i i i feel like that as well is hard warming because at least i get to keep a part of my dad and i wish the same thing for kelly's daughter you know i i i wish she gets to carry um a part of her father i remember kelly telling uh the, the daughter that so apparently the daughter is a soccer player as well and the dad was um a soccer player he was a soccer star he was a goalkeeper for Orlando Pirates i think so the the daughter and the dad have a lot in common and i feel like that that's so beautiful the daughter even looks like her dad i look like my dad too by the way that that's what i've heard like a part of me looks like my dad and um she was telling the 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 the, the, the daughter that they have a lot in common with the father because there's a lot of things like playing soccer that they do and that they both like so i also apparently look like my dad and in most things that i'm doing like i'm a person that is driven i'm a person that likes success i'm a person that um is focused i'm a person that obviously um i put myself out there i'm putting myself out right now on my channel so apparently my dad was a leader like that type of person so it, it's just those little things that keep us going as as children and i feel if parents could be open enough to tell us everything about our fathers it doesn't matter what went on in between the dad and her i mean it does matter but it has nothing to do with the child and the child should not suffer because of what happened in between the mother and the dad so um kelly's very open into speaking to her kids actually both of them the son even about things that happen in life which is very very cool i loved i loved i loved the show um um the show is life with kelly kumalo by the way um it's on showmax it's available check it out and enjoy let me know what it is you related to i'm sure like some of you guys have already watched the show but those who haven't get on right now hop on and go on showmax and register yourselves because they have a free 14 day trial where you can watch Kelly's show and it's it's six episodes I binged watched it it's six episodes so far they will be releasing more episodes cuz I could see on my app that it says more episodes are going to be uploaded so I really really can't wait because this way I'm getting to know Kelly and I'm getting in me getting to know her I'm getting to know my life as well because there's things that I feel like I could relate to and I feel like there's things that I can I can now be confident enough to speak about with my mother because of the confidence i got from the show so it's more than just me watching it for the sake of enjoying it it's more about me watching it to learn from it it's more about me watching it um for enjoyment as well and me watching it to get to know myself and to try speak to my mom in a way that's going to be suitable for both of us and comfortable for both of us because also parents are very very sensitive and i feel like if you like parents will always feel like you're attacking them as a child just because you're straightforward or like and that's not the case like no one is trying to attack their parent we're just trying to get to know them and we're trying to get to know ourselves and we're trying to get to know our lives so i feel like this show um has given me enough confidence to actually go back to my mother and ask her the questions that i have about my dad and i want to know everything and i'm so glad that 
the stuff that I know so far are good things, you know, like I haven't heard anything negative about my dad. I haven't heard anything of what everyone always says he was a good guy. And I liked, I liked, I liked that because now I'm also like a good person, which means I take after him. I also take after my mom though as well. But I think mostly I take after my dad. Um, even my facial features, apparently my dad was this person. And I could see actually from pictures as well that my dad's got a forehead and a foot. <laughs> I've got a five head myself so that's very comforting to know that I carry a part of my dad with me every time and I'm not even like sad about me finding out what happened to him and to his life because I feel I can't change anything that has happened now the only thing I can do is to be better and to be a better sibling to my brothers and to just be a better person and make sure that I'm a person I become a person that my father um, would be proud of. I'm the only girl to my dad and I'm the last born because my brothers are both older than me of which I've always wanted to be a last born. I've always wanted to have big brothers and I like I've always like throughout since I've been living my life I thought I'd never like I had given up I'm like Ugh, I'll always be the, 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 the elder sibling and I, I won't have a big brother and I'd use my cousins as my brothers. I'd always call them big bro because I just want to have a brother. But actually, I do have two big brothers and they're such awesome people. And I love them. Like, if you guys are watching this right now, just know that I love you guys so much. I feel the Kelly Kumala show has opened a big part of me that I didn't think would actually come out because now I am able to speak to my mother comfortably about my dad and since she's watched the show as well she's able to talk to me about some things because she's been seeing um, how I've been speaking about the show especially when it comes to the family orientated stuff she's open into speaking um, she's open into speaking with me about the show and about um, my life because I feel like a part of Kelly's life is kind of like a part of Kelly's life is somehow something my mom relates to as well because they've got so many things that they both went through and they've got so many things that they have in common. So this show for me has just been awesome. I love the fact that she's very relaxed as well. She's very much herself. She's the same Kelly that we see on Instagram. She's got that same accent, that, that, that Italian. So I feel like there were some parts on the show that I felt... Um, my mom could easily relate to and I, our relationship as a whole could easily relate to because of the relationship that she has with the kids of um with, with her kids as well as their fathers and actually there is no relationship so that is something that i also went through at some point whereby my mother didn't have a relationship with the people from my father's family and i feel like parents need to put their issues aside and think about the children um there's a part whereby she says that she can't she can't um go she she can't go into the the son's father's home and force him to be in his life i mean obviously no one can ever force anyone to be in a relationship that they don't want to be in and if the father does not want to try then i guess that's that but there are some rituals that need to be done for the kid and I felt like now at some point there were things that needed to be done for me, some rituals that needed to be done for me as a kid. And I started thinking that uh, bad things happening to me because certain rituals were not done by my parents. Is that why certain things are happening to me? Because other kids would be normal, but I would have a lot of bad things happening to me. Like, for example, at the time I burnt my face and I felt like, hey, this is... This is such bad luck. Like, like, why is it happening to me? Is it because there's certain rituals that haven't been done? And had I feel had that gap been closed, had my mom taken me back to my father's family and made sure that rituals are done, then maybe bad things wouldn't have happened to me. But also, I can't... Like, I, I didn't have isibindi to, to go talk to my mom about these things because I, I i don't know the whole story i don't know how the relationship was between my father's family and her because it could be that they didn't want her or they, they didn't like her or it could be that they liked her and they still like her so it's kind of tricky that's why i'm saying it's so important for parents to communicate with their kids so that we know and we're not put in awkward positions and we're not put in positions whereby we doubt ourselves and we doubt whatever it is that we're doing there's a lot of moments on the show man that we're it for me there were a lot of moments that were also like not it for me for an example when kelly and her friend um 
wanted to take the, the the boy child to a police station just to kind of like have him shaken off about stealing at school and doing bad things i feel that's too extreme like you you, you can't scare off a kid guys like we need to be the generation that's better parents we need to be the generation that our, our kids can communicate with i think we need to be the parents that we need it we need to be the parents that understand depression we need to be the parents that acknowledge it we need we need to be the parents that believe that you can pray it off but that's not the only thing you should do towards depression you need, there has to be some sort of like action being done in order for it um to go away so man let's just i feel like parents just need to understand their children depression is depression is it's not something demonic a kid misbehaving is not a stage of some sort obviously there's something wrong there there has to be a communication done sit down with the kid talk to them nicely i love how she speaks to her kids love how kelly speaks to her kids she respects her kids she speaks to her kids as if they're adults she understands her kids because she's got a way of treating the boy child of treating issues she has with him as well as a way of tackling issues she has with the girl child and for me as a parent that's just you understanding your child and being able to accommodate them because you're the parent you're the parent not the other way around so you make the kid understand you make the kid speak to you you make the kid comfortable enough to speak to you but guys check the show out for yourselves and let me know which moments were your favorite which moments you felt were also a part of your life which moments you felt um were cringe worthy check it out guys it is available on showmax you can just go simply register on showmax i'll leave the link below for you guys to just click on it register and hop on and let's watch life with kelly because we get to see everything from her work life personal life family fighting with her sister everything is just there on the show i feel it's something for everyone everyone is going to get something out of that show because of the drama that happens there i love how she shows us how the the promotions for her gin came into life love the fact that she took us on that journey as well i would have loved to see more of it though i would have loved to see what goes on to the gin and why um what she used and why um we, we get to actually see as well why she called it controversy and that's very cool she's herself throughout love that it's the same kelly you get on instagram it's the same kelly that we have known for years i love that woman and i feel like she's very strong because a lot of people in the country have put her through a lot so she deserves this she deserves this win she deserves this show she deserves me doing this video because i was like there is no way i need to speak about this i need to get it out of my chest kelly we appreciate you we appreciate your show we appreciate you sharing your life with us please subscribe if you haven't and check my previous video if you have not watched it thank you so much bye